Yo! Big ol' yo. Feels like it's been a minute, right? The normal videos are back, but don't worry. Uh, just like y'all have heard me blab about plenty of times now, um, a lot of hunts from this season that y'all have not seen, and I mean a pile of them. 20, 30 or more of the suckers, and they're all good. And if they weren't good, they were funny. <laughs> but before we get going, here at Sandhill Flyways, my guide service, you know we do duck and goose hunting only as of right now. Uh, the lodge is filling up November and December. If you're looking to get in the lodge November, December, I would jump on it. Uh, January, same thing. We do have some duck shack available, availability. It is the second lodge, uh, but good room left. If I was you and you're serious about pulling the old trigger, I wouldn't wait. Um, it seems like people are a lot more, uh, just a lot more serious in general about pulling the trigger and getting on the books. So, um, it's going really good for myself and, uh, this season, past season was the best yet. It seems like every season I say that because it's true. We just keep getting better, uh, properties, more lease ground, more knowledge, right? Sandhill Flyways, check us out, Central Kansas, sandhillflyways.com. You can fill out the booking form, or if you're like, Bob, I don't want to waste the opportunity, me and a buddy, or me and five guys, whatever, we're ready to pull the trigger right now. Go to sandhillflyways.com. You'll actually find our contact phone number. Give us a call directly if you're that serious. If you're just looking for some extra information, fill out the booking form and you will receive it right away. But if you're wanting to get on the book so you can get a spot locked down, find the phone number on the website, give us a call, we'll get it ironed out quickly. Let's get into the banger pigeon hunt here, guys. Yo. What up, y'all, and welcome back to a normal Bobby Guy Films video, right? It's been a while. Me and Jackson, we're out here. What are you, uh, she's shooting the high bird today. Look at the new, look at the new, the G new whip you got. G Force. Uh huh. New stick. The new stick. There goes the water. The new pipe. Pretty. <laughs> What's that? Pattern Master. <laughs> Pattern Master. We are pigeon hunting today. Uh, I just brought one bag of full bodies. It's right at about, oh, five dozen. <clears throat> Put them on a spot out here where the corn's really <clears throat> laid down and it's flat. Spread them out decent, not too big. We got a few that have already croaked over on us here. Fix them up and we should be good to go. The pigeons, I believe, have been using this for quite some time. Uh, they haven't been hunted for quite some time, so we made it easy. No lay down blinds, no panels, no A-frames. Just wear a black hoodie and sit beside the black tire. I think it'll work. Comfy. It is, it's easy. Pigeon hunting should never be hard. Nice shooter, McGavin. <laughs> an early bird. That's an early bird, that was a single scouter. I don't even know if I got the camera on in time. Killed the messenger. Oh, very good band checking, you never know. Yep. First bird of the day. You never know, bro. <laughs> You just never know these banded pigeons. I hope they all do it like that. Yeah, they should. Dude, they're fresh. He floated right in there. The wind is coming from that way, so it's a side shoot. All the birds should do this, landing into the wind. Guys, remember when uh, your duck, goose, pigeon hunting, dove hunting, um, birds land into the wind, especially the stronger the wind sit up. So um, they're going to use the wind <clears throat> to decoy to provide a, a great shot for yourself. No band? No band. Damn, Damn man. Bird. First bird down. Right over the top. Oof. One more. Shoot him there. Did you get them both? I did. I, I dusted them on the second one. Just blew some feathers off. I gotta get used to this Franke. That felt weird. Running the old Franke today. Got to the pigeon flight too. It's been a long time. Yeah, that wind. Yeah. You got to get used to nabbing them in the wind when they stall. Gonna have to get warmed up with the Franke. I'm gonna go grab this one. Franke. Oh, right here, right here, right here. Oh, I don't want to shoot towards the house at all. Bust him. 
Nice. Nice. I missed him again. <laughs> Hell yeah. Jackson's on a roll. Yeah, this Franke feels weird compared to the old Benelli, I'll tell you. All right. Hello, Mr. Blue Bar. <clears throat> that is a pretty young Blue Bar, actually. The old pigeon. It's fun. Shoot him. Oh my god. That is a tough bird. Dude, it pulled up and he just boomed, moved. Yeah. I'm gonna have to start squeezing the trigger a lot faster. I am waiting. They're so much smaller. I'm used to snow geese, you know, they can't they can't move that fast. Yeah. These birds, you forget, they just go boom when they want to. Yeah, they they flip out of there fast. Come on, Bob. Get the old Franke going here. English. Uh, oh, yeah. Get him there. God dang, Bob. Me and this Franke are not getting along. Good thing I brought you along. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <clears throat> Must be a big difference between the Benelli and the Franke, man. Well, and snow geese and pigeons. Yeah, I don't get it. <laughs> I'll keep coming up with excuses. <laughs> Take the back one. Nice shoot. I can't even see it. Nice shoot. That over got right in the sun. Yeah, that sun it. is horrible. I couldn't. I was almost ready to pull the trigger and then. I couldn't, and it's like, please hit one, Pop. You redeemed yourself. You're yeah. back. I'm back! I'm not freaking leaving. That sun sucks, man. Shoot him. God, I dusted him twice! Dude, I feathered him twice. A pigeon I feathered twice. Tough birds. Yeah. Three more. That sun really sucks. Two right here, Bob. Yeah. <clears throat> that sun sucks. Yeah, that sun is difficult. Man, my eyes. Shoot him. I hit him every time. Yeah, every time. That was four shots. I hit him and dusted him four times. Why? Where Kevlar? What the? I'm shooting high bird. Maybe I'll start shooting some of this cheap stuff. I might. They're eating it up though. Yeah. That sun is horrible. That's that's hard to look into and yeah. shoot. Gosh, dusted him, blue feathers off of him too. Ugh, you can't even glance at that sun right on top of us. Shoot him. Drew feathers on him too, see that? I, sh I shot one. Drew feathers on the wrong one. Kill two or three. God, that bird just got me. So three pack on the right. Up top. Oh, three pack down low. On the left. Five pack. Shoot him there. Oh. Yeah, it's like, uh. 
They didn't tighten up for crap. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, pigeon hunting. I'm telling you, man. I guess Another big one. Can't beat it with a stick. No, I'm great at excuses, but uh, getting used to this GoPro on my head again. I'm telling you, I'm not used to it. I didn't use it like that all season long, and I gotta tell you, I hate it. I'll be very honest. I hate having this GoPro on the bill of my hat. It was so nice not having to use it all season, and this reminds me why I didn't. <laughs> it, it honestly bothers me, you know, it's like, it's an object right in your way, holding down your hat like this, just sucks. But, good hunt, here comes another four or five pack out front over the trees. Well, look at that big group out front over the trees. Are they coming? I don't want to shoot if they're coming. Let's not shoot him. They're gonna come. If we shoot now, they may not come. You gonna decoy, buddy? You gonna land on my head? So there's a reason why we're not shooting. There's a big flock over the trees right here, spinning the other field. And if we shoot, I don't think that they'll come. So they are taunting us pretty bad. <laughs> That's sun. Yeah, it's bad. We'll be picky. Shoot him. I could not see when I shot at all. I wondered. There was no way I could see. I was like, well, I hope he falls. Uh, that was cool. Literally, right when I pulled track, I could not see the bird anymore. Trust your instincts. Yep. Ooh, they're getting selfish now. Three pack coming behind them. Ooh, white one right above your head. Oh, we should have popped the white one. Come back around. Oh, here we go. Another group. Shoot the white one. Oh, we got the white one out of her. She got double tapped. He did. We got an all-white one, boys! Heck yeah. Yeah, that one didn't really stand a chance. No. He was the first one to decoy. Yeah. All right, buddy. I hear a honker. Do you? You hear some moaning and groaning from the long neck honkers down yonder? Yep. Looking at the field where he shot all them local bands? Yeah. What a guy. Shoot them on your side. Yeah. Well, he got smoked three times. Oh, there, he just folded out of nowhere. I punched him and he started falling. You nailed him another two. Tough birds. Shoot him. I dusted that one too. Go down. Those birds really don't like to die. They do have a Kevlar vest on or something. Oh, that one might be falling out. He might be the one I snagged. Want to kill two out of it? Yeah. <laughs> I tried to get into the wad, but they weren't very tight. No, they didn't tighten up for crap. Here comes a single. We'll sky bust them if we have to. Some behind them. Bust him. That boy did. We could have actually positioned the spread to the left more or something and not look directly in it, but yeah. definitely wasn't that smart earlier. This side shoot's kind of nice though. Second one. 
thing with. Shoot him. Dude, I, I Did you see the low one that came from No. Inside? I didn't see him until he was right there and I was already pulled up on the tall one. That worked out perfect because I shot the low one. Dude, I shot him and he didn't die. I don't know how many I shot and they haven't fell. Shoot him. Jesus. Dusted him again. Did you see that? Every time. Wow. Why? Another group, new group, new group. I need shells. Up top. Yeah, he is. He's hurting. Oh, buddy. <laughs> he did. Heck yeah. This is awesome. I think I like the lighter loads. Yeah. Seems like they kill a little better for some stupid reason. I guess they probably, I imagine they pattern way better. Excited Rossies. Hopefully they get tight. That was probably the only look we get. <laughs> yep. Here we go. Shoot him there. I'll take that. Woo! That dude died right there. Boom! Right here, about 10 foot from me. This GoPro battery is going dead like usual. Thank goodness for sunglasses today, boys. That's one thing that I never forget on a hunt. And a lot of you can go down below and drop your crazy little ideas. You know, the ones that want to just negativity. Don't ever wear your sunglasses in the blind. You'll, you'll flare the birds. That's why Bob has to sky bust because he always flares the birds. He needs to use face paint. That's just for all the negative Nancys out there. Been doing this a while and I wear sunglasses every single hunt. If I don't, I have sense, very sensitive eyes, dude. They'll just sit here in water. And... There was a couple guys I had to razz pretty good. A handful of guys in one group this year that we did an evening duck hunt in the field. Dude, we pulled up and the field was just juiced with ducks. Yep, single. We zoom it. Shoot them. Oh. Jeez, that sun, dude. The sun. I jammed too. Oh, you jammed? Yeah. Dude, I. That second shot, I couldn't. Or the middle shot, I could not see. But I went walked by their truck when we were getting ready to, to go out into the field, and they were, dude, they were all putting face paint on. Dude, uh, and it was cloudy anyway. And they're in a laydown blind. <laughs> and dude, I gave them so much crap. So much crap. I'll take the back one. Shoot him. Go oh, down. He's, he's done. See that bird when I shot, but oh, he's down. done. Did you get him? Yeah. That was good. That was a two long shooters there. Yeah. These lighter loads are doing the trick. I don't necessarily know why, but. Oof, I didn't like something. If you guys were in a blind, you'd be killing more. How do you use a layout blind to shoot doves? <laughs> no, you don't. Oh, on the left, three. Shoot 
Cheiro. Son, dude. I ran out. Oh, you did? Yeah. Do you need more? No, I got more. I ran Thought I was going to get a double off that. There you go. He's dead now. The turkey practice right there. Ground rake. Oh, if you guys are liking uh, the vid, the hunt, come on. You know what to do. Uh, this is old school. We got a single on the right coming. Uh, old school. Taking it back. GoPro, pigeon, tube, little spread. Two man, this is sweet. Come on, single it. Get him, I'll back you up. Go. Nice. Oh, he needs another double pumper. Oh, he did. I think I shot underneath his feet. <laughs> what? Yeah, he ain't moving anymore. Well, he is moving. I'm gonna have to wring his neck. All right, we're gonna do some roundup real quick. See if we got a band anywhere. That's a white bird. Pretty bird. Pretty bird. Gonna mount it. Gonna mount it. Eh, not bad. Blue chick. Got some white flights on them. What we got here? Ooh, black chick. Little older bird. Sweet. Show wheat. With pigeons, uh, if I'm not running a dog, I always just put them in the spread, make the spread bigger, lay them on their bellies, like so. Pigeons, guys, if you're new to the channel, probably ought to tell you. Uh, here in Kansas, I am not sure about your state. You would have to check. Uh, but here in Kansas, they are invasive. Uh, it's an open season on them all the time, pretty much like coyotes. Um, so, no limits. Uh, that's a pretty bird. Real pretty bird with big white flights, blue bar. Um, so yeah, you can hunt them year round. Gives me something to do, stay busy, helping the farmers out. The farmers get sick of them preening up here on their, on their pivots and pooping all over their machinery and their sheds so uh farmers enjoy when you take care of them and get them out of there pooping all over their stuff this guy needs some help what do we got here good looking older blue bar oh that's a pretty bird older blue chick good looking guy yeah no problem look at this one black one Black check. Huh? Uh-oh. Get ready. Oh, Lord. He's gonna shoot over my head. Oh. Shoot him! Sweet! We got another one! Wearing all black, sitting by the black tire. Making it easy and it's working. That's pretty wow. Look at that. Look how white he is on the bottom, all the way up his neck. Dang, he's cool, man. He is beautiful. Oh my him. Jeez, dude. Oh, jammed. You jammed? Yeah. I dusted them bad. I can't believe how tough pigeons are, man. No. They are. They are tough birds. It's incredible. Time to find. Time to find some three-inch lead. <laughs> Shoot them. Heck yeah. We got those. Totally redeemed ourselves there. Shoot him. Ooh, he got toe up. There's still a big flock right there on the trees. Yeah. But a guy on the podcast said uh, that he was watching the Dr. Duck podcast, so he commented on mine after watching the latest one I put up. And uh, he said that they had a uh, Texas 
you know, game warden, you know, game and parks guy in there. Yeah. And he was saying uh, how, and I don't know if this is completely true because I haven't watched a podcast, but how they're going to shut down conservation snow goose season in Texas uh, because they said there's only an estimated 3 million snow geese in the, in the, I don't know what he said, in the mid continent or whatever he said. Three, I'm like, what? No way. There's way more than three million, just in the central flyway. Right. Like, and then he said that they were like, uh, once Texas does it, then other states should follow suit after a couple years. Farmers are going to be pissed. That's what I said. Farmers are going to be so pissed off because, they're, I mean, these snow geese will ruin their wheat. In a day. Oh, man. But, uh. I guess, it, I, and he was just repeating what he's seen, you know, and what he watched, but he said uh, that back whenever they issued the conservation order, whenever, whatever year that was, right, long time ago, whatever, um, there was an estimated 20 million snow geese. That's why they initiated the conservation order, and now there's an estimated 3 million. I I call I, B. I call B. No, way. no there's a there, had, there was 1.6 million at Squall when I went there, and the amount of birds north of Squall, west of Squall, at Cheyenne Bottoms, Lovewell, Nebraska, the one still in Arkansas, Louisiana, Texas. You can't tell me that right. that's less than three million, dude. Just between Cheyenne Bottoms during that time, Cheyenne Bottoms and Squall. That's over two million yeah, right there in two in two probably. yeah two refuges yeah. oh behind us big group with a white one Oof. sick honker look at him his neck's all cranked up what are you doing he is struggling i, wonder what's wrong with him. I don't know that's not wounded i bet he's sick yeah that's how they i've seen him in kansas city like that they gotta have bird flu or something yeah that's why their necks like and this and they're just struggling. It's weird. Shoot him. Jeez, really? Good night. Barely winged him. He ain't going nowhere. Yeah, they were close. Those were some real close shooters right there. You either on or you ain't at that range. Shoot him. Nice. Oh, had to try it. Three out of it, that was good. Heck yeah. They did it right. Yeah, they did. Slid in there nice and comfortable. Oh yeah, old, old white winger just coming in there. Oh yeah, he's a low one too. Shoot him. Nice shot, right on the Good end, mile. dang. Golly. That's crazy when you hit them out that far, dude, they, they, just, they just go bleh. Isn't that weird? And you can shoot them close and puff them, they keep flying. Did you get that white wing? <clears throat> yeah. He went down for the count. Shoot him. Nice. Oh. We double tapped both of them that was, too. Did we squeeze the trigger together both yes. times? That was awesome. That was sweet. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Oh no. Jeez, dude. I hit him again. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeez. Shoot him. Alright. That wasn't too bad. That was better. That was better. My barrel is hot. Wow. Shoot him. Oh, I can't see. 
That was awful. Yeah, that wasn't very good. <laughs> we get a good, oh, here's the single. Where are you going, buddy? I hit him. Oh, nice. Oh, they just keep going, dude. Dude, they're difficult. Some good practice, I'll tell you right now. Oh, yeah. Grade A practice. Yeah, you do this all summer, you're probably not going to miss a lesser. No. A big bird like a goose yeah. or a duck? No. You get good on pigeons, boy. You can tear some bigger birds up once the season comes. And dove, you know, yeah. be trained up for dove. Well, dove fly a lot. They're a lot easier to than pigeon because pigeons just fly. Yeah. yeah, dove kind of hold their line. Yeah. Shoot them. There we go. Got the two close ones. Yeah. Man, you really got to put a little lead on them. Get right in front of their beak. The other one's gonna make it. Shoot him. Nice. Figured I'd try. Alright, they're not leaving. Shoot them. Nice. He was a ways out. Man. Yeah, he was. He smoked him. This is non stop action. Shoot him. I was trying them long ones. Did you see him again? No, he just didn't go down. No. Here they come. We need to get all three. I'm going to start at the back. Shoot him. Nice. You got all three. Yeah. Oh. They didn't stand a chance. That was sweet. They were loving it. Need more shells? We are getting people like bad over here. We are. Huh? Oh, yeah. Damn, I'm getting low on these shells, boy. Woo. We burned up way more than I figured we would. Shoot the single. I drew feathers off that long one. Oh, you shot the. Oh, I thought you shot. Oh, nice! I didn't. I thought you shot at this one. Uh -uh. Huh. We burned up way more shells than I figured we would. We're about out. <laughs> I brought uh dude. I brought five boxes. Uh, well, four and a half of the high bird. Yeah. And then I brought at least four more. At minimum, four, four to five more boxes of the other stuff. Shit, this is my fifth. Fifth box. Yeah, I've definitely went through four or We're five. Through. Wow. What a hunt. Three pack. Gotta get all three. And if they decoy together. Yep. The two. Uh, shoot him. Nice. Singlet. I'll back you up. Whoa, he didn't even puff. He just laid down. Did you see him? His head went. Dude. There wasn't even a feather that came off of him. That was awesome. Shoot him. Nice. Down. He's going down. He's hurting. Shoot him. Uh, they got out. Of, dude, they got out of there fast. Uh, oh, both of them. Yeah. We did get all three. Shoot him. I don't want to waste any more shells <laughs> if I don't have to. a quick swing. Woo. I love those fast swinging shots like that. Oh, they're sweet. These birds have no clue that we're sitting right here in the plain open side. I mean, this black and tire deal, it works. 
Three more out front. Shoot them, I'll back you up. Nice. Oh, this is a pretty one. Uh, Auburn right here in the front. Yeah. Oh, shit. He's coming back. Now we're going to kill this Auburn. Over the top. Oh, I missed him. That sucks. Should have waited. He is pretty. I messed that, I messed that all up. Side you and not decoy. Shoot him. Nice. They are they, they got plowed over. Steamrolled. <laughs> one more shelf. Wow. You got one? Here's two. I got at least two in my gun. Just take one of these. We are down to bare minimum. Throw that other one I, in here. Uh, I got two. You got three coming. We literally ran out of shells. I, th well, I might have some steel in my bag. Oh, God. Well, start shooting steel at them. I ain't leaving to the fat lady things. This one then. One shell a piece. That's all we got left. <laughs> time is it? It is 9:41. It's about that time, anyways. Yeah. It's really slowed down. We'll try to double up one more time with the one shell we have a piece, and we're gonna have to call it because we have nothing else to shoot unless we start throwing dirt clods at them. It wasn't bad. 84. 84. Could definitely. Better. Well, we definitely lost, I would say, 10 maybe. Yeah, a dozen. Somewhere right there. A dozen Flyers. or 10. Here she is. 84 is what uh, we recovered. Two man little operation today. More shells? Yeah. We definitely could have, while picking up their landing on our heads, uh, there's a five five flock uh, right where we were right now so if we would have had more shells which I didn't think that would be the issue today uh, we definitely could have hit a hundred really easily we would have still been shooting them we would have we actually would have went well over a hundred so uh, I knew it'd be a 50 bird day I didn't get to I didn't get to scout it early morning and you know eight o'clock nine o'clock ten o'clock to see how many were actually coming and going uh, when I found this, there was about a flock of 100, 120 at like 11.30. So really late, really, really late. And I was like, man, that's a good sign. Uh, two of us should be good to go on an awesome little two-man. But you guys got to let me know, did you like the pigeon hunts? I have a ton of duck and goose hunts that you guys have not seen yet uh, that are unedited that I'm going to be posting. Um, I'll probably, you know, try to do something like this and then rotate in the goose hunts and the, and the duck hunts that you haven't seen so drop a comment down there let me know what you all want to see uh gonna fire them back up i just uploaded on the podcast uh, it's about a 30 minute video uh me just kind of relieving some stress and talking and uh talking about things that i don't on here uh it's blind talk pod podcast blind talk podcast let me get it right uh, it's always linked down in the description as well as sand hill flyways uh, if you're looking at booking a hunt to come here and uh, shoot ducks and geese and have a three-day full lodging experience, meals, bird cleaning, everything, fill out the booking form at sandhillflyways.com.